Do you ever go to play a low note and instead of it sounding like this, it ends up sounding more like this? Or a high note and you want it to sound like this, but instead it sounds like this. Today, we are gonna to talk about three tongue positions that will fix these problems forever. When you talk, your tongue is moving all around to create all the different sounds that your mouth makes. And whether you know it or not, when you're playing the saxophone, your tongue is doing the exact same thing. For every note, your tongue is making little adjustments to make those notes sound better. Today, we're gonna to talk about the three main tongue positions that you need to know. Uh, first for your low notes, then your middle notes, and finally your high notes. Okay, so let's start with our low notes. When we go to play a low note, we want our tongue to be down really low in our mouth. We wanna say the word ah, like you're trying to talk low, if you're trying to talk low, ah, ah. We don't want ah or a, we want ah, so your tongue is really low, and the air is coming from uh, underneath of the reed. So we want if your tongue is in that bottom ah position and assuming you have no leaks, your low notes are gonna come out perfectly almost every time. Uh, if your tongue is up too high, this is what's gonna happen. You're gonna get what I call furps. Furps are like when you get that false note. So I'm gonna start off with a furp and I'm gonna, I'm gonna adjust my tongue down and you'll hear the low note pop out. That is all done with tongue position. So when you're playing a low note, you wanna be in the ah position. Get your tongue down really low, ah, and those notes will pop right out. Now, your ah position is like a general range from B flat to E. So your low B flat to E, if you're thinking ah, especially if you're hitting right on those notes, not coming from another note, and you get your tongue in that ah position, those notes are gonna come out every single time. Okay, so the next position is the A position. When you say the word A, say A, your tongue is flat in your mouth. And this is where you normally are. This is kind of where your tongue rests. And that's why these middle notes almost always come out with no problem. I call the middle notes from E up to a high B. So all those notes are gonna come out with pretty much no problem. But the position that you're in is A. So say the word A and pay really close attention to where your tongue is. Now, go from ah, say ah, a, ah, a. When you do that, you can feel, you can feel your tongue going from the low position, ah, down here, to a, right here. So as you go up in the higher notes, you want your tongue position to go up higher as well. The final tongue position is actually the hardest one. It is the e position. When you go up to play high notes, your tongue needs to be in the e position. Say the word e. When you do that, you can feel your tongue go up really high and creates a slope almost for the air to go into the mouthpiece. So the higher your note is, the higher your tongue needs to get up. So you get to a certain point where it can't really get any higher, so it starts to go forward. So we want high and forward for our E position, depending on how high you're going. This is why beginning and intermediate saxophone uh, players often have like a really flat sounding high note. Like they go for a D and their tongue isn't quite high enough so they kind of get the note, but it's really out of tune and not stable at all. So as soon as you get your tongue up higher and you keep the air flowing, that note is going to come out crystal clear. Again, if your, note, if your tongue is not up high enough in the E position, You can hear how it becomes really unstable as I pull it down, and then it locks it right in when I get the tongue up into that high position. Now, as we go higher, our tongue position needs to get higher. And so on and so forth. The higher we go, especially in the altissimo, we want that tongue up as high as it can go, we want to get that slope. We want the air coming down from below and hitting the reed. Um, that's gonna help those notes come out really clean and really strong. So if you say the word ah, a, e, you can feel your tongue and your mouth, the whole shape of your mouth change from low to middle to high. If you get these general tongue positions of ah, a, and e down really well, your notes are gonna become really strong and really focused. Thanks for taking the time to check out this video. Uh, and if you found it useful, I'd really appreciate it if you give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and share it with your friends. If you have any questions, hit me with a comment below. And if you have any requests for future videos, also hit me with a comment below. Thanks a lot.